Now, brothers and sisters, be careful. Be careful a few things. Be careful of him. Maradun fazad Allahu bi marada. In the heart is a disease, and Allah has increased the, the, the disease. The disease in the heart. It is not the eyes that are blind, but the hearts within their souls. All of these things, brothers and sisters, I'm laying the foundation that the heart is something very, very significant. It is something that changes very, very uh, fast if we're not careful. Now, inshallah, let me try to tie it up together. I don't know if you heard about what happened uh, just a couple of days in New York City. I mean, really, a major tragedy. Uh, I think his name is John Taylor. This man who uh, robbed the Wendy uh, restaurant and killed, shot seven people, killed five of them. One of them is in critical condition, the other one in bad condition. Now, when I heard about that, I, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was devastated. I've never been affected so much in my life. When you read the details that what he did, he came in at night, called for the manager, took the manager downstairs, and told the manager to call the other workers downstairs. It's closing time. He took one of them, he took them systematically, one by one, tied their hands behind their backs, put a uh, tape on their, on their mouth, and then put a, a, some kind of bag, a plastic bag on their head, and put a, a, 380, a 380 millimeter gun to the back of their head and systematically killed each one, uh, uh, shot each one of them. Two of them were, uh, were living. One of them, he, 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 he woke up, and he was unconscious, he had gotten unconscious, he woke up, he called 911 and he fell out again. Police came and rescued him and the other person was in critical condition. And I said, my, my, God, what, how in the world can someone do that? And I was so angry, well, I, beloved, I was angry, I, I don't know about any of you who read it. Like, I'm in the city and I'm thinking about, man, I'd like to find this person, really. And you know what, brothers and sisters, what scares me? That we're living in a time right now that it seems that every day is getting worse. I think I heard about a young boy who shot a teacher, killed the teacher just maybe yesterday it was. And the Prophet warned us that it's gonna come a time where the person who commit murder won't know why he committed murder, and the one who's murdered don't know why they murdered. We're coming to a time like that, you know why? Because we live in a time where we have sick hearts real sick hearts. Now I'm gonna ask you a question, I want you to be honest. It's gonna pain me to ask me what I'm gonna ask you now. It's, gonna, it's very painful. How many of you, including Professor Jackson, know Muslims who used to practice the deen, but are no longer practicing? Used to pray, no longer pray? If you know someone like that, raise your hand. If you know one, raise your hand. Pervez, you don't know any? Allahu Akbar. How many know more than one? You know what scares me? What scares me is that could be any one of us. No, not me. I'll be a Muslim the rest of my life. Good. I'm glad you think that. Let's see what the Messenger of Allah said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we'll see. Brothers and sisters, I'm really concerned about us, really. You know why? I've seen over the years workers in Islam. I mean, people used to run camps. There's a famous one now that brothers used to tell me used to be one of the most famous young youth workers in America. Now he has some kind of, you know what I'm talking about, uh, had, had some kind of uh, so-called gay Muslims. He used, to be a good, he used to be a good Muslim, he used to be a well-known Muslim. And now he's doing that, he's, he's, he's well, yeah, brother, well, well, known, well known for that. And, and, and there's more, and there's more like that. 